Hey, how's it going out there, folks? Welcome back here to the weekend. It is a Saturday out here, January 25th, 2025. 12.35 p.m. That's California time out here. Latest quake on the Earthquake 3D globe shows a 3.3 across Puerto Rico. Also a little one-pointer there in California. Pretty windy out here across northern California right now. So, uh, so far the power is holding up. But I uh, wouldn't be surprised if we see some power outages, which would bring the stream down. Just FYI, we've got a developing low pressure trough here. You can see the area of circulation. Looks like it's centered right over uh, Sacramento area. So we're getting that strong north wind here in the valley. As uh, far as earthquake activity goes, uh, following uh, the four-pointer up here off the Oregon coast last night, uh, some movement down south here into the southern end of the Cascadia subduction zone, a 2.5 and uh, a latest of 1.6 there. Uh, so things are still staying pretty steady in terms of uh, earthquake activity in Northern California right there. Nothing in the Pacific Northwest that's worth mentioning. The Bay Area, pretty quiet. A couple ones out here aside from the Clear Lake Volcanic Field. That's some geothermal operations there. Uh, Southern California, let's take a look here, see what we got. Anything above 2.5, uh, 2.8 early this morning, just off the San Andreas Fault here outside of the uh, Cathedral City area. Now, yesterday here, actually this is today's as well, a little 2.3 just off the uh, the bend area right here in the San Andreas Fault. Uh, but I'm pretty certain we've seen something a little bit larger here recently. Let me see here. Here's today's 2.8, 2.7 here a few days ago, a little bit further up north. Whoa, there's a lot of stuff blown around. I just heard something fall outside, so hopefully it wasn't one of my uh, antennas. I got a couple different antennas out here. Making a lot of noise out there in the wind for sure. But uh, one thing I'm noticing is a trend of earthquake activity here, specifically around this region of the San Andreas Fault. Now that's, you know, in an area where we would, we would see pressure uh, pretty much transfer off of right along this area right here. Um, of course, the San Andreas Fault here, southern segment is pretty much wound tight. Uh, so this earthquake activity just off of it, and some of it getting uh, you know into the uh, 2.5 range and above is a little concerning out here. Things are starting to amplify across this area specifically. So uh, you know who knows what it's gonna take to trigger uh, the big one out here, the expected 8.1. All I know is this area down here across the uh, Salton Sea area northward, Desert Hot Springs region, has not seen a, uh, a big earthquake in over 300 years. Further up north, yes, but uh, the southern segment here, we got to watch out. Got a lot of activity stirring up around it uh, right now, just off of it. And, uh, you know, you, you got to think about it. Hundreds and hundreds of years of built up strain that's compacted, stressed, um, you know, anything could trigger this. A 2.8, 2.3, uh, anything could trigger it. Or it might just break underneath the um, the stress that's been building up out here recently. So we continue to keep an eye on that. Uh, nothing big going on there for now, but it is noticeable in terms of that movement just off the San Andreas Fault here. Uh, off <clears throat> In the Los Angeles area, 2.4 this morning as well. So things are, uh, you know, a little bit... A little bit amplified out here just after midnight here. Things kicking up. Uh, also, 1.5, about 5 o'clock this morning. That's interesting there. Let's see. 5.49 within seconds of each other. A 1.5 and a 2.4. So things, when they move, they can move here at the same time. And, uh, you know, it just might be... One of these swarms or quakes out here that could trigger something today. Be on guard. Nothing big. That's not a forecast. That's not an earthquake forecast out here. But when we see elevated activity out here around a major plate boundary that is well overdue, right? We've been talking about it for decades. People have forgot about it. You know, pretty, pretty much complacent. Uh, it's never going to happen in our lifetime. They've been saying that for 50 years, you know, and it's... Here we are, 2025, much further into the future than 50 years ago or even 100 years ago. Keep an eye on the San Andreas Fault here with that uh, elevated movement just off of it. Further up north, a uh, little bit of movement stirring up this morning as well. Uh, a lot of ones 
around the Coso Junction and the Ridgecrest area. As you can see there on the map around the Ridgecrest, just an overall pattern here of elevated seismic activity taking place. Yellowstone National Park, nothing showing up there on the map. But let me double check that and see what we have. It is a weekend. USGS normally will not report any earthquakes there unless it's above a certain threshold. Uh, not a whole lot. <clears throat> there is one earthquake over here around Moose Creek, Idaho, and a couple other smaller earthquakes there showing up on that seismograph station. That activity, at least one of them, I mean, uh, Denny Creek, Moose Creek's further down south. Denny Creek here, west boundary, picked up that uh, uh, other earthquake. That uh, not going to be a big one, probably a 1.5 or so. The rest of Yellowstone out here, a couple other smaller spikes, but uh, really nothing big going on. It looks like some wind events stirring up out there uh, across the region for now. The rest of the country, as you can see, earthquakes in the oil fields. That's about it. One earthquake down here across the Linwood, Georgia area from yesterday, a little 2.3 far as the largest earthquake activity in the last 24 hours, that's going to go to a 5.1 back here across Taiwan. About 3.40 in the morning here, local time, California time. So things starting to strain back out here against the Filipino plate. That, uh, you know, obviously some concern. Looks like a little bit more activity than just that four-pointer uh, EMSC showing uh, a number of quakes out there, including uh, what looks like a 5.1. Well, that's going to be the uh, earthquake this morning. But a number of quakes out there from yesterday and today, the latest of 4.9. Underneath, uh, quite a bit of strain out here, let me tell you. Nothing major going on there across the uh, Nankai Trough, but that's a major area to watch. A little bit of movement further south here a few days ago. If we look at the last 30 days, uh, you know, the area has seen a lot of swarm here. But this is the built-up area that's capable of producing a mega quake. Nothing happen, happening on it right now, but when it does, oh man, we'll know about it. At least the folks there, well, the world will know about it. Um, big earthquake activity potential there. Alaska, nothing major going on up there for now. Got uh, just a couple of smaller quakes. Hawaii, I believe we've returned to the eruption status once again. Uh, let's go ahead and take a look here real quick. Uh, Kilauea Volcano. Go over here to the webcam, see what we have here. Yes, we have. I believe this stirred up late last night or early this morning from this, uh, I believe that's a northern vent there, showing some uh, fountaining of lava coming up, filling up the uh, most recent area of coverage in terms of the lava field. So this would mark, uh, was it the sixth, sixth eru or eruption here? Uh, let's see. Yeah, the sixth episode of Kilauea's current eruption there at the crater area. Crazy. So who knows how long this will last? Maybe similar to the last event, which was a day or so, maybe less. Have to watch it. Either way, it's been kind of an ongoing process there. Uh, which means that uh, there's still, you know, some good storage of uh, magma down below. Quick glance at the deformation data. Here's our most recent eruption there. Notice the decline, indicating deflation. And, um, you know, we're pretty much matched right here on our last eruption event as far as time period goes. So it could halt at any time and then uh, go back up and then do it again. So, uh <clears throat> Yeah, I'll continue to keep an eye on it. Nothing major going on as far as any elevated activity elsewhere. Just uh, continuous free flow there. Filling up the lava lake there, the crater lake area. Lava lake, crater lake in Oregon. All right, what else we got here across the globe? Got deeper activity returning to the uh, Fiji Islands area as normal. New Zealand, nothing popping down there yet. Still quite a few threes down there across North Island and the southern end of the Kermadec Trench. Uh, nothing major going on here across this area of the globe. Some movement out around the western areas of Turkey. Mediterranean region with a 3.3 right now in that region, in that area. The Atlantic Ocean, pretty quiet out there. Nothing major going on. 
definitely keep an eye here on California, Southern California here with the uh, elevated activity. 3.4 a little bit further south into the Baja California region. That uh, not showing up on the USGS map. It's a little bit down here, but that's a good indicator of, uh, you know, strain out here against the plate boundary. And it's starting to show. Got to watch this little area right here, just off of it. That means uh, it's building. How much longer can it uh, last? That is a good question. That's a question of the uh, of our lifetime and maybe our kids' lifetime. Who knows? I think it'll happen here in our lifetime. Uh, it's just there's too much been going on here across Southern California recently with uh, elevated seismic activity, events that we're seeing just off of it. Uh, let's see. Thunderstorm activity. Just a slight chance here for some thunderstorms across it uh, looks like Sacramento or Yuba City southward into the San Joaquin Valley. Nothing severe. This is just general thunderstorm activity out there a little bit in Texas as well. Uh, we do have a, a low pressure system out there across California. Bringing with it the strong north wind here. Goodness, and it's really drying things out as well. A little bit of rain expected to build up from this low pressure trough for Southern California. Not expecting much. Uh, a little bit better storm system here, a little bit more energy as we head towards uh, the 1st of February next weekend. A little uncertain, though, on if that's going to open the storm door or not. Uh, you know, it looks like maybe that may be only one storm. And then after that, return to high pressure with colder air back here across the majority of the country. Who knows? We'll have to watch it. It's a little ways out. Either way, uh, February looks fairly interesting there. The um, Climate Prediction Center has the Pacific Northwest and California here in the 8 to 14 day forecast. Uh, chances of above normal precipitation here, roughly uh, stocked in northward, not so much in Southern California. But that goes from February 1st to the 7th. Weeks 3 to 4 also shows above rainfall expected Northern California northward. Uh, so we'll see how this plays out for the February 8th to the 21st time period. We need some more rain out here. It's starting to dry up. Uh, it's been drying up here. Not good. We haven't had a quarter of an inch of rain all month. It's crazy. Uh, fire. Any fires out there? Well, let's take a look, see what we have. Uh, the border to fire. Looks like we still have hot spots out there being observed. 10% containment, 6,500 acres. I'm sure it's more than that. Got the wind blowing up out of the south due to that low pressure trough there. That may push it further up north into the mountainous areas. Hopefully keep it away from the populated regions down south there or to the southwest. Areas up north around Los Angeles. By the way, this is down here across the border, close to the border. Um, everything, everything looking a lot better out here. The Palisades Fire, I mean, it's obviously smoky out there, but Palisades Fire, I believe, is pretty much well contained, 81%. No hot spots being observed. Uh, the uh, Eaton Fire over here, 95% containment. No hot spots being observed from the satellite base imagery. Uh, the huge fire, or the Hughes fire, 87% uh, containment. Um, nothing showing up there on the satellite based hot spot overlay. So that's good news there. No new fire starts that I can see. Hopefully it stays that way. Uh, let's take a quick glance at the next five close approach asteroids here. See if there's anything of interest that needs to open up the orbital viewer. Uh, really not. I mean, last year during, what was it, January or February, we had one small asteroid. I think it was like eight feet come within about 12,000 miles of the planet. That's super close. Um, I'll normally open up the orbital viewer and take an in-depth look at it. In terms of how close approach it will be, maybe possibilities with the um, NASA orbital viewer on asteroids. If it's probably within about 50,000 miles or so. But these are all millions of miles away. Uh, let's see what else is going on out here today. Um, was there any... Uh, let's check out space weather here real quick. Is there any aurora activity last night? Doesn't look like it. Remember I called it here a couple videos back? Barely get a glancing blow. If anything, uh, 
you know, it probably misses, and it normally does. We, we barely get the, you know, like a, a small side of the plasma cloud there. It normally misses us, and uh, for sure enough, I don't see any signs of uh, any aurora activity last night or today. That has been wiped off the map as well. We'll uh, see what happens here for our next event. Who knows when? Uh, we're looking at somewhat stable conditions out there across the sun. 10% chance for X flare. I don't see it. 45% chance for M flare. Let's take a look here at the uh, magnetic complexity. The X flare potential may be coming off of this area, um, sunspot region that's pretty much out of sight, out of mind, off the western limb. We're left with a whole lot of nothingness. Uh, looks like a sol almost like a solar minimum uh, on the Earth-facing side of the sun. We'll see what happens here on the eastern limb. There is, uh, you know, some active areas out there that we'll have to watch here in the coming days. But uh, a little quietness right now in terms of auroras and uh, solar flare activity. Seismograph stations, a couple of earthquakes there on Solomon Islands, a few there on Barrett as well. That's in Southern California, a couple of very small spikes. Aside from that, uh, the world, worldwide seismos look pretty quiet for now, folks, but stay safe, be on guard, watch Southern California. You know, it's, it, it could happen at any given time. Nothing may happen. We may have a big one tonight. Maybe these were four shocks prior to that. You just never know. I don't have a crystal ball. You know, it's it's just one of those things. We have to be prepared. And I just look for these little signs here that may be key indicators of, uh, you know, something about ready to go. Chances increase out here, obviously, for a big one. Uh, anywhere out here in Southern California as we see elevated activity. This is not a sign of the, the plates relieving strain out here or the faults. This is a, a impending strain on a broader scale type of event. And it's localized here across, uh, you know, the southern branch of the San Andreas Fault, Los Angeles. Not so much San Diego. Uh, they do get some big earthquakes on occasion. That's been a little odd. We haven't really seen anything out there in San Diego in quite a while. And uh, they have a number of fault systems here that can produce big earthquakes but it's been quiet they build up strain at a less slip rate than uh, these other faults that are really close to the plate boundary which builds up the most and it's built up quite a bit i don't know the math i'll have to do the math on this uh but it's got uh, lots and lots of feet built up there accumulated strain and slip throughout the 300 and something years have a good one uh, I believe the live stream is up and running. It looks like it is. Hi, Timothy. How's it going? Thanks for checking in. I added this up here <clears throat> on the top of the chat. Very strong winds here. Stream may go down due to power outages. Just in case the stream goes down, you guys know you know what happened. Uh, so far, no issues with the um, stream going down otherwise, you know, to, due to suspicious activity. I've been trying a couple different things. To prevent that so uh so far so good have a good day folks enjoy your weekend out there no matter where you're at we'll catch you guys back out here a little bit later on this evening i thought about barbecuing today but it's just too windy too much of a fire potential out here uh, i'd hate to catch my neighbors uh beautiful redwood trees on fire it's a little dry around here so i may hold off on that but Enjoy your day out there, folks. We'll catch you guys back out here a little bit later on this evening. Take care.